In this tutorial, we'll talk about adding to that rhythm section with distorted bass. Of course, the type of track that the bass is on will dictate how much distortion you can use. In this case, we can use a lot. Now I got two channels going here, one with an amplifier and one clean. Each one will have its own approach. Put the clean one in. Now like the kick and snares, I simply recorded the bass twice. This will let me separately process each one and make a combination. What I'm going to use is some equalization, a Friedman guitar amplifier, which is like a Marshall, and the TLA-100 leveling amp, which sounds awesome on bass. Let's just hear the clean signal. I'm going to use a Friedman BE-100, which is like a plexi-style Marshall. Let's listen to some of these knobs. Your presence, uh, it's a little edge. There's your bass, of course. It sounds good up there. Middle, cut it a little. And we don't need that much treble. That's just your master volume. That's a lot of gain. We're going to have the gain almost off. One of the great things about this amp is its effects rack. This is actually a recording chain of different cabinets and speakers. But always try and make a preset in case you lose your settings. You can hear the tonal differences in the mics and cabinets. Sometimes it's good to experiment like that. I really like that sound, so I'm gonna leave it. Another great feature of these amplifiers is the filter. This is a tight and a smooth filter for bottom and top. Pre and post. Pre means before the DI. Post means after the amp. So I'm running it after the amp. Smooth will pull down some of the top end. Now I'm going to use a separate EQ so I have a little more control over the bass sound here. I'm going to use an Oxford equalizer. You can, of course, use any EQ you want. Now I'm actually cutting low end. Now it may seem counterintuitive to cut bass on a bass, but I want this to sit in nicely with the kick. This is a rhythm section. Just cutting some lows and a little bit of mids. Let's get the level right with the TLA-100 leveling amp. The gain controls our master output level, and this controls our compression. Now the thing about compression with bass is you don't want to crush the attack of the notes. I can add a little more saturation with this plugin. And again, the low cut will let me cut out some of the bottom. Sounds good right around 100. Put a little more gain in and let's listen. Sitting nicely with the kick. I think we're in a good place. Distorted bass.